Today is a very special day for all of us who have been following the amazing discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. It's been one year since JWST started its science observations, and what a year it has been. JWST has been exploring the wonders of the cosmos with its unparalleled sensitivity and resolution, revealing some of the most ancient and mysterious objects in the universe. In this video, we will celebrate this milestone by reviewing some of the most record-breaking discoveries that JWST has made in its first year of operation. Like, the most distant supermassive black hole ever discovered, the first stars in the universe, the six oldest galaxies in a proto-cluster. These discoveries have challenged our current models of how the universe formed and evolved. They have also opened up new possibilities for studying how these ancient objects influenced their environments and shaped the structure of the cosmos. Let's dive into each one of them and see what they reveal about the history of the universe. One of the main goals of JWST is to study the formation and evolution of the first black holes in the universe. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. They can form from the collapse of massive stars or from the merger of smaller black holes. Some black holes can grow to become supermassive, with masses millions or billions of times those of our Sun. These supermassive black holes are usually found at the centers of galaxies, where they can influence their surroundings by emitting powerful jets and radiation. But how did these supermassive black holes form and grow so quickly in the early universe? This is one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics, and JWST may have found a clue. In September 2022, a team of astronomers announced that they had detected the most distant supermassive black hole ever discovered. This black hole is located in a galaxy called Sears 1019, which is about 13.1 billion light years away from us. That means we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only 630 million years old, less than 5% of its current age. The black hole has a mass of about 1.4 billion times that of our Sun, making it one of the most massive black holes known at any epoch. It is also extremely bright, emitting more than a thousand times the energy of our entire galaxy. The astronomers used JWST's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSPEC, to observe the galaxy and measure its distance and properties. They found that the galaxy is forming stars at a rate of about 100 solar masses per year, which is very high compared to other galaxies at that time. But how did this black hole become so massive so early in the history of the universe? The astronomers calculated that if it started as a seed black hole with about 100 solar masses, it would have to grow at the maximum possible rate, accreting matter at the speed of light, for its entire lifetime. This is very unlikely, as there are physical limits to how fast a black hole can grow. Alternatively, the black hole could have formed from a direct collapse of a massive cloud of gas without going through a star formation stage. This scenario would require very special conditions, such as low metallicity and strong radiation from nearby stars or galaxies. This discovery challenges our current models of black hole formation and growth in the early universe. It also opens up new possibilities for studying how these ancient monsters influence their environments and shape the structure of the cosmos. JWST will continue to observe this galaxy and other candidates for distant supermassive black holes in the future, using its unparalleled sensitivity and resolution. This is not the only record-breaking discovery that JWST has made in its first year of operation. In the next section, we will talk about another amazing discovery, the first stars in the universe. Stay tuned. Another major goal of James Webb is to study the first stars in the universe. These stars are also known as Population 3 stars, or POP3 stars for short. They are thought to have formed from pristine gas that was only composed of hydrogen and helium, without any heavier elements like carbon or oxygen. These elements were later produced by nuclear fusion inside stars and supernova explosions, and then dispersed into interstellar space by stellar winds and shock waves. Therefore, POP3 stars are expected to be very different from later generations of stars, such as our Sun. POP3 stars are believed to have been very massive, very hot, very bright, and very short-lived. 
they could have reached masses up to hundreds or even thousands of times that of our sun. They could have had surface temperatures up to tens or hundreds of thousands of degrees Kelvin. They could have emitted intense ultraviolet radiation that ionized their surroundings and heated up the intergalactic medium. And they could have exploded as powerful supernovae or collapsed into black holes after only a few million years of existence. But how did these stars form and what did they look like? This is one of the most elusive questions in cosmology, as POP3 stars are extremely difficult to observe. They are very rare, very distant, and very faint compared to the background glow of the universe. They are also expected to have formed in small groups or clusters, rather than in large galaxies. Therefore, we need a very sensitive and precise instrument to detect them. And that's where James Webb comes in. In October 2022, a team of astronomers reported that they had found the first evidence of POP3 stars in the universe. They used JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, to observe a galaxy called EGS Z81, which is about 13.04 billion light years away from us. That means we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only 665 million years old, less than 5% of its current age. The galaxy is one of the most luminous and massive galaxies known at that epoch. It is forming stars at a rate of about 300 solar masses per year, which is very high compared to other galaxies at that time. The astronomers detected a faint but distinct signal of helium emission from the galaxy, which is a signature of very hot and massive stars. They also found that the galaxy has a very low metallicity, which means it contains very few elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. These two features suggest that the galaxy hosts a population of POP3 stars, or at least some remnants of them. This discovery is a breakthrough in our understanding of the first stars in the universe. It confirms that POP3 stars existed and played a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and the cosmic web. It also provides a glimpse into the physical conditions and processes that govern the formation of these stars. JWST will continue to observe this galaxy and other candidates for POP3 stars in the future, using its unique capabilities to probe the early universe. A third major goal of James Webb is to study the formation and evolution of ancient galaxies in the universe. Galaxies are collections of billions or trillions of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter held together by gravity. They come in different shapes and sizes, such as spirals, ellipticals, or irregulars. They also interact with each other through mergers, collisions, or tidal forces. Galaxies are the building blocks of the large-scale structure of the universe, which is organized into filaments, clusters, and voids. But how did galaxies form and evolve over time? How did they acquire their diverse properties and morphology? How did they influence each other and their surroundings? These are some of the questions that astronomers have been trying to answer for decades, but they have been limited by the resolution and sensitivity of previous telescopes. James Webb has changed that. In November 2022, a team of astronomers announced that they had discovered six ancient galaxies that date back to when the universe was only 800 million years old. These galaxies are among the oldest and most distant galaxies ever detected. They are located in a region of space called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, which is one of the most studied areas in the sky. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field contains thousands of galaxies spanning billions of years of cosmic history. The astronomers used JWST's Near Infrared Camera, NIRCAM, and Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSPEC, to observe these galaxies and measure their distance and properties. They found that these galaxies are very massive, with masses ranging from 200 billion to 1.5 trillion times that of our Sun. They are also very bright, with luminosities up to 100 times that of our Milky Way galaxy. They are forming stars at a rate of up to 1,000 solar masses per year, which is very high compared to other galaxies at that time. But what is even more surprising is that these galaxies are not isolated. They are part of a larger structure that spans about 160 million light years across. This structure is a protocluster, or a precursor to a galaxy cluster, which is one of the most massive and dense objects in the universe. Protoclusters are rare and hard to find in the early universe, as they require large amounts of matter and time to assemble. 
This discovery reveals a new aspect of galaxy formation and evolution in the ancient universe. It shows that massive galaxies were already present when the universe was less than 10% of its current age. It also shows that these galaxies were not randomly distributed, but clustered together in regions of high density. This implies that these galaxies were influenced by their environment and by each other through gravitational interactions. James Webb Space Telescope will continue to observe these galaxies and other candidates for ancient galaxies and other candidates for ancient proto-clusters in the future, using its amazing ability to see deep into the past. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the most record-breaking discoveries that James Webb has made in its first year of science observations. These discoveries have challenged our theories and expanded our horizons, but they are only the beginning. Webb has many more years of exploration ahead, and we can expect more surprises and discoveries from this incredible telescope. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.